Hello, in this video, you will learn about digital signature algorithm. So, first we will understand the concept of signature that is made by a person in real life. So, you can see signature is made by a person to authenticate the document. As you can see, the signature of this person A on this document, it means that this document originates to him. So, we use signature for the authentication of the documents. A person sign a document to show that it is approved by him and signature is a proof to the receiver that the document comes from the correct entity. Using the signature, you can see here this is the sender signature and here we have a another signature for the verification and using this signature, the receiver can verify that the document comes from the correct entity or not. For example, in bank, when a person, suppose A, this person, signs a check, now bank needs to be sure that the check is issued by the correct person. So in this case, this person signature verification is done by the bank, signature matched, check is accepted as rejected. So in this case, you can see on the check the signature. On the check, we have a signature. And you can see in the record, we have another signature of this person. So when the person's signature is matched, then check is accepted. It means signature verified. If this signature is not matched, it means signature is not verified. So check is rejected. Suppose in this case we have a signature on the check you can see here and in the record we have another signature so in this case signature is not matched so check is rejected same concept we are using here in digital signature but in this case there is little bit difference as in case of digital signature we are using here electronic signature instead of this so now we have electronic signature that is nothing but just the code that is attached by the creator that act as a digital signature so here digital signature is the encrypted message and we are using here for the authentication mechanism using digital signature receiver can authenticate the identity of the sender and the integrity of the message here we are using Asymmetric cryptography in the digital signature, it means we are using a symmetric key that is the public and the private keys for the encryption and the decryption. In real life, person can use same signature to sign many documents. As you can see, we have a person A and you can see this person can use same signature on many documents. That is the relationship between the signature and document is one to many that is one signature can be used to sign many documents in real life but in case of digital signature you cannot use same signature to sign many documents so you cannot use the same signature to more than one document so in this case the relationship between the signature and the document is one to one each message has its own signature done so how digital signature is created this is created by the hash of the message and here sender uses signing algorithm to sign the message and when the receiver will receive the message and the signature verification algorithm is applied in order to check the authentication after that you can see encryption is done by the sender private key so this is the process how digital signature is working. So suppose we have sender A that is the signer and we will use here signing algorithm to sign the document. After that encryption is applied and message digest is generated and you can see this is the digitally signed document or you can say digital signature is applied on this document. Now you can see here the code is attached here after that they will apply the verification algorithm for the verification purpose 
first we will decrypt the message so decryption algorithm is applied here we will check the hash code that is generated here if the hash value is equal then signature is valid else not so in this case verifier will check the hash value that is generated if the value is matched it means signature is verified it comes from the authenticated entity so in this case you can see we can use this algorithm to verify when the message is comes from the verified entity or not so this is the simple algorithm we are using here so that's just a so short video about digital signature so in this video we what we did the difference between simple signature and digital signature in real life we, will, we are using signature to sign the document and in case of digital signature we are using here electronic signature to sign the document that is nothing but just the code attached with the document and here you can in case of digital signature you cannot use the same code to same signature to sign many documents so each message has its own signature but in real life you can use same signature to sign many documents that's just the sort difference between the signature and the digital signature so in the next video we will see what is message digest and how we can generate the code and how verification and signing algorithm is working in the digital signature and what are the different digital signature standards so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video